So the kids had a blast spray, spraying the, the RIT dye on these t-shirts and um, they came out really cool, especially um, the ones where they stood back from the shirt and they didn't saturate it too much. Where the tape was left these really cool um, star shapes. So you can see this one came out pretty cool with all the, um, the white stain where we had put the tape. This one they had a uh, really good time with and they were up really close and just saturated the shirt. So what happened is that it, the tape got too wet and a lot of the dye bled underneath. But that's actually okay because um, I'm gonna try a little bit of this uh, Tulip soft paint and it's made for fabric. It's a fabric paint. The shirt is still a little bit damp. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of pounce the, the color on here and try not to pick up the tape too much. see what that looks like. It's pretty cool. I decided I want to go ahead and put a little bit of the paint on the outside too just to kind of really um, just really accentuate that circle in the middle. This is going to give it a little bit of a sunshiny look. Sometimes Accidents happen, and I know people call them craft, fail, craft fails. I really hate that name because to me, it, it's just it's an opportunity to let yourself get a little bit more creative and resolve the problem. You know, and sometimes it ends up being cooler what you come up with than what you had originally int intended. Yeah, I think that's pretty fun, doesn't it? It's very. Um, very hippie, hippie looking or just really bright sunshine looking. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to the other shirt too and then I'm going to go ahead and rinse them in water. I'm, I put a little bit of vinegar just to kind of set the dye a little better. You don't have to do that but that's just what I like to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash all the dyed shirts together so that they don't bleed on anything else.